Okay. So we got the Bellow Mace? Uh, you know what? I'll do it. Because that should let me maybe hit him once. That stamina cost, though, is bad. We'll see how much damage it does. Open my ginger ale and spray my eye. Ouch. I don't usually get stuff stuck in my eye. I'm pretty lucky about that. Except for the one time that I was, like, hyper... I was, like, rushing. And my, um... We were going to the beach, and I was meeting... My friend was coming to pick me up. And so I put on sunscreen, and then I put my contact in my eye. And, uh, let me tell you, sunscreen in the eyes on your contract... Contacts? Not... Not good feels. This weapon is atrocious. Boop. Okay. Rude. Okay. There we go. Those points in strength really did not work out for me. I might be able to parry that. There we go. I can definitely parry that. Alright. He's in big hit mode. I mean, part of it is... It's just greed. You know, greed's going to be the thing that messes me up. How did I... not get hit there? I have no idea. <gasps> oh, damn it! Why? Not again! I, I jump over the shot, but I really misjudge his... double fist reach. Ugh. Wasn't even greed. That was me just trying to self-preservation. I knew I needed to put some more points into health, but I didn't realize I needed that much. Oh, well, that didn't work. See, that was greed. That was me trying to be hasty. Like, I'm getting better at it, clearly. He is all process and no no problems. Rude. So grab that, whatever that is. Ah. Huh. We're on informed hands. Take it. Boop. Oh, you can really do some hit and runs here. Ow. Okay. Yeah, so part of it is, I pretty much can't let him corner me. Because 
Because he absolutely will just mess me up. Okay. Now. I'm just gonna heal. Okay, stay there. Bounce him. Avoid. Bounce him again. Bounce him again. Here's the question. Am I going to get greed shot here? Maybe not. Now. Got him. Nameless. Breath capacity increased. Oh! That big? That big. Alright, and he dead. Yeah, so definitely a bonus boss. That's why he was so tough. However, worth it. Guess I should probably heal a bit. Yeah, so it's an extra little bonus segment at the top. It's not huge, but it adds up, and I'm assuming eventually I'll be able to bank two heals. So what does Breath do? Uh, so Breath, breath is just uh, heal charges. Might do other things, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. But so you can, uh... Shoot, yeah, let's just go to the left. More un unformed hands. Ooh. Let's just do it. Uh, so when the yellow meter next to my health fills up, I can heal myself X amount of HP. There we go. So I just filled up my breath gauge, and then I heal. That's what breath does. It's effectively just fancy language for something all of us are used to at this point. Okay, let's go to the left. Now that we have a new area. Yeah, I thought the heal was running off the ardor meter. No, very close though, kind of, I guess. Because the ardor meter has a direct correlation there. Because the higher my ardor, the faster I gain breath, I think. Alright, this is just totally blocked off. Hey, Viru. Uh, welcome back, Viru Listens. Breath is like Soul and Hollow Knight. I say welcome back, but maybe you've just been lurking. I don't know. I haven't been very good at paying attention lately. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Ow. Ow, rude. Oh, I thought I was able to absorb him there. I was really hoping Resonance would just increase the capacity on that. Boop. Ow. Nope. Boop. There we go. Well, let's see. Is this more? Yeah. Unformed hands. Give me that sweet leveling up. EXP, I guess. Yeah. Same thing. What is a game where leveling... No! Why did I do that? I tried to parry this thing like a fool. What's a game where leveling actually felt, like, wildly impactful? Because, you know, in games like this, it's always just, like, a small number, and it always... I always feel just kind of detached from it. Why? Ow. Rude. Big rude.
There we go. Is a mad rock. Got it. There we go. Please charge me up. Thank you. That was going to be a bad way if I didn't. Nova Drift. Nova Drift. Yeah, that's a good one. There we go. Because yeah, most games when you level up, you're kind of like, eh, whatever. Unless you learned, like, the new spell or the new move. But even then, it's it's not the leveling up that actually really felt good. Say, like, when you learn, I don't know, Flamethrower and Pokemon, you're like, oh man, I can get rid of Ember finally. Ember sucks. Petalstone legs. I will be pretty. I don't know which is better. I kind of like the smoothness of this one. Yeah, it does Nova Drift count, though? Kind of? I mean, it's effectively its new perk. It's not like you're really leveling up. I don't know. Like, I know the... I know that generally leveling up is just a vehicle for... character change. Bye. Okay, get rid of him. Damn I'm dead. Damn it. Ah, Why? Any game with skill trees, really. Good good skill trees, at least. And I'm just trying to think of this. Because, like... Oh, we died. Which means I can level up. Uh, i played a lot of games over the years where leveling is, like, kind of a main feature. But surprisingly few of them... Oh, I still don't have any. Uh, hmm... Do I just keep investing hard into resonance? Yes. Yes, I will. Like the one trick pony that I am. A Dragon Quest XI, for example, leveling gets you skill points, gets you some awesome abilities. I guess. But it's like, it's really just the, the skill tree that makes that good. And you could have had the skill tree... Oh, right. Still can't do that. Uh... You could have just had the skill points drop off of random enemies, or like set points in the game, set points in games. I guess Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons is like the game that I really think about with good leveling. Or like every time you level in D and D, it really does feel like, boy, I have improved. You know, you're especially early on, like going from level one to two, and then two to three. Up until about, like, level 5 or 6. You know, that's that's really peak leveling up for me. Prior to that, it's just kind of okay. Yeah, D... Uh, tabletop RPGs and CRPGs. Yeah, because in those, it's not just, like, a small number. It's always a big improvement. You know, some new ability that drastically changes how you function. Um... I guess I should have absorbed him, but it's okay. Do I want to go up here and just kill this dude again? I guess I might as well. There's also that lower area, which I'm confused about. Levels and MOBAs. True. Bye. Really wish I had a drop attack. Because that would be nice. Okay, there's not actually anything there. Mentally, leveling in D&D gets a bit tedious if you're a spellcaster. Too many spells to cast, not enough slots to cast them with. Yeah, I... I always wish... Or, I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys have played... Uh, Divinity Original Sin. But I always found... Divinity, Divinity Original Sin's handling of spellcasting to be better? Somewhat better. I mean, really, you just never ran out of spells. You could you could keep casting your ridiculous nonsense all the time. 
Uh, it was just cooldown based and then very occasionally resource based. Uh, let's see. Okay, I gotta heal. Last time I was here, it was a bit rough. Bye. Oh, that hurts. Okay, I'm gonna wait here. Kill this guy before I move onwards. Grab this. That didn't work. Come for me, creature. I'm here for you. Nope. There we go. That's yeah, not too bad. There we go. Got him. Nope. Got him. Perfect. No disconnects, we should probably heal. Now, part of my... Uh, my favorite part of Original Sin was the interactions of spells and actions. Yeah! There's just something truly perfect about, like, using a whirlwind to spread fire into a poison area that exploded and did, like, a ton of damage to an enemy. Above, sibling mining. Like, there's just something really cool about that. In a way that... Ow! Huh. That's a surprisingly wide range of a parry there. But that I I really would love to see D and D follow in that footstep somehow. Moms, moms, both rocks don't like to play, don't like to paint, don't like siblings. Scary mouth rocks like only to bite, only bite, bite and scratch and chew and grind. They're not, uh, they should not be with siblings. They should be with the feasters. Moms, moms. All right, same deal again. Uh, let's see, Tyranny had good spell crafting systems. Yeah, because like the more complex the spell was, the, uh, the longer the cooldown, right? And that was it. Or like the longer it took to charge. I forget. I need to go back to that game at some point. We like partly finished it. Stolen body. Huh. I got it from behind. Okay. Pearl stone. Or pedal stone chest. And an unformed head. Which is even more. Gosh, if you could combine spellcrafting from Tyranny with the interactions, or like the, the tactical interactions from Divinity Original Sin, I think that would probably be like the perfect magic system. Ow. Ow, that hurt. That would be pretty close to the perfect magic system in like an RPG. It's like D&D is fun, but it's just kind of like, there's so many spells that are, I'm not going to say wasted. Ow. Ow. There we go. Okay, and then we've just got a spear guy. But I liked it. I like it how in fifth edition, at the very least, a number of sk skills and spells scale with level. But I definitely wish that like everything did, or like you got your spells back more regularly, kind of. Okay, I don't know. It tough. It's weird playing, like, spellcasters in most, vid in most video games, because half the time it's, like, really fun. You're, like, the this, like, really badass uh, world destroyer character, and the other half the time you're just boring. I remember... Well, I remember. Recently, my brother and I were playing Dragon's Crown, uh, which I'd never played before. I was really curious about 
you know, how that game was. And I was like, oh yeah, let's let's play as the wizard. They seem like they'd be kind of fun. I am pretty rock. We are running out of paint. We Uh-oh. Moms! Moms! Bad carving, breaking siblings, and ruining lithic! Um. Frankly, what the hell? Ow. Ow. Ow! A lot of D&D spells are either situational or reskins. Pathfinder redid it quite well. I always like the D&D Scion rules, PowerPoints and stuff. Yeah, I remember specifically with PowerPoints, uh, there were some like neat alt rules that you could get. Oh, I'm just going to invest in health, I think. Uh, there's some neat alt, alt rules that would make it so you get like a PowerPoint every couple of minutes or something. Um, and so generally we just kind of assume you get like X amount of PowerPoints on the regular. Oh, we're over there. I guess I'll try going to the right. Hey, thank you, Indy Davo. Davo. For the two month free sub. Now, all this talk of spells can make a good video essay, breaking down magic systems and games and going over how you make your own. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to. I know Michelle especially would love to do that sort of thing. I should have gone up. There we go. Yeah, what I what I really like to do also is actually just start messing around with some other tabletop board gaming systems to see how they handle it. Because most of my magic exposure has been... Oh, this is the shortcut. Most of my magic exposure in, like, tabletop board games has been... Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and Pathfinder. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh. Uh, well, this is a problem. This is pretty easy to get back. And yeah, I can just kill myself, which is good. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Look how magic is handled in Genesis. Hard to describe online. It's very freeform and up to, open to whatever. Yeah, I've seen Genesis go by a couple of times. Balls. At some of the game stores I frequent. I've always been interested in trying it. The problem is, like... Oh. Not that that really helps me too much. I'm doing a bad job of this. Might as well heal. Okay, there's one. Two. Three. Okay, and then Spear Boy. Actually, gonna just fight Spear Boy because I want healing juices. That didn't work. Ow. There we kind of go. I just want to get that shortcut open so I don't have to go through this again. It's good for the grinding, though, but beyond that. Uh, let's see, do we go down? Yeah, sure. What's the worst that could happen? I end up fighting one of these guys. I'll make it work. Alright, we end up with Thirsting Sand. Oof. Prey Hunt complete, though. I like that. Okay, do we go down? No, 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 no. 
we go up. I want to get that shortcut. Perfect. Heal up. There we go. Perfect. Really enjoying the caveman vibes of this game, other than the protagonist's heads. It feels like something a caveman would Im imagine. Huh. Yeah? I can see that. Okay. Right. Mom's art class. At least, I would agree, except for the uh, next upcoming boss. The next upcoming boss is kind of... Or, the boss that we just fought? I don't know. It's kind of horrifying, really. I. I think I killed it, actually. There's that. Ow. Big ouch. Wow. Stink on you. And I'm dead. But I can get back. Uh, topic of video essays. Could be neat to see Shell make a couple. She's scripting right now. At least I think she is. I don't know. I haven't seen her in a couple hours. Just because I have been streaming. Gosh. And now that I don't have, uh, you know, my, my vacation kind of just like eating up all my time, I'm just like, oh man, I've got so much room and time to do things. I can write scripts. I can make videos. I can do things. It's exciting. I don't know. I'm just going to fall down. Oh. And fight this guy. Rude. Ow. Big rude. Okay, he kills himself. But now we're in a good spot for fighting these guys. Very good spot. Okay, so I was here when I died. Let's check the rest of this. Boy, we got a whole bunch of these dudes. Oh, he died. There we go. And he dead. Rude. Big rude. I it is really interesting playing one of these games purely Ow. Ow. Uh purely as Perry Man. Like, I don't normally do that, and it's actually kind of really fun. Okay, I think there's something down below. Nope. There ain't. I really wish I could. Didn't the game mention a way to look down? I've been trying. Oh. Nope. That's fun. I forget about special attacks often. But yeah, I... If there is a way to look down, I can't tell. That there is one. Oh. I guess I should be consuming these. Does that club have teeth? Yes. Next question. Hey, another Motley Pearl. Good stuff. Okay. Unfortunately... I think I've cleared this area out pretty successfully. Well, do we just do or die? Do or die. It's going to take a couple of trips to do this anyway. Oh, they're horrifying. Ow. 
Ow. I do a lot of damage. I don't know if I can parry them, though. Maybe when the rocks do the drop. That's the time to do it. Uh, Let me think. What weapons do I have? Because I have the claw. But it needs... A bit of both. There's the mall sword. There's that. But a number of these require quite a lot. Fossil Fist is interesting. I could try it, but it would require five dexterity, which is a little outside of my price range right now. I just want to find a weapon that scales based off of my resonance. And scales well. So I think I'm just going to keep investing in health. I'll just go meat bag. Okay, options, control settings. Look down. I'm trying? Yeah, so I thought it was going to just be left stick down or left stick up, but it only it only seems to work in certain areas. Yeah, maybe you can't look down everywhere. Which is kind of weird that you can't look down in the area that you need to look down. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Well, I was not expecting that. Ow. Ah, uh, there might be a bug that just breaks it for some people. That'd do it. Yeah, I wonder if I'd be even better off. I don't know. Nah, probably not. Okay. Well, I tried. This will just be over here. Okay, hey, one's dead. And the other one's pissed. And I'm dead. Okay, let's try that again. Because, yeah, it's kind of easy to take a lot of damage in the early section. Here's the other question. What else do we have? Debris field. Multile blob. No. Where are the unformed heads? What about the rest of these? Yeah. What does this do? Absorb more breath. I'm not actually terribly passionate about leveling right now because it'll only help so much. Please let me through. I wish to go on an adventure. I wish to fight the boss. So the one quality of life thing I wish Souls Likes had is just let me just let me hit the retry button. I've been playing Death's Door lately, and it's like, you died to the boss. Do you want to try that again? And I'm like, yes. And then it just immediately chucks me back in. And it feels good. Oh, 
I'm just gonna... Those don't help too much. Okay. Rocks. Rocks. More rocks. Fall on me. Ow. It's out of force. I'm attacking too much. There we go. There goes one. Unfortunately, I'm pretty wounded here. It's gonna make this a little harder. She's pissed, though. Creepy teeth. Ow. Okay. Whoop. Got that. Heal. Got that. Ow. Uh, bye. I'll see you later. I guess. Got her. Great Prey crushed, and we get... Whatever. That's actually not a half-bad boss. I'd say the giant was tougher. They just had a weird pattern, and double being double-teamed is always kind of hit and miss. Okay. Aim at a target, release to pull. Hold towards target objects. Oh. That's interesting. Not what I was expecting as far as, like, neat abilities go. From, like, a Metroidvania. But... I dig it. Oops. And it makes total sense with the with the whole uh oh my gosh, black hole concept. I'm still kind of hoping for a double jump or an air dash, but the the ability to like just yeah, pull things into you is actually really neat. But it is, yeah, you're right. It is nice to see something completely different and unexpected. Well, what do you guys think? Do we just give up on resonance and say uh, enough is enough, or do we just go keep going hard? Increase absorb parry duration by 10%, making it easier to. Oh, never mind. All in, baby. We just got to find more hunt points. Because, yeah. Increases the absorb parry duration by 10%. And I'm assuming uh, I could get that up to a solid 50%, making it easier to absorb, repel, or reflect attacks. I, I feel like that's going to get real stinky real fast if I manage to level it up. We just have to find sufficient hunt targets to pull it off. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to be like, oh, but maybe I need weapons. But the answer is, no, I don't need weapons. We'll find something that scales off of Residence eventually. Ugh. Oh. Aha! Okay, that's really cool. Um. Uh, let's just see. Can I? Yeah, I can land that. Perfect. Perfect. 